Hi guys, welcome to the channel again. Today we are going to be looking at coagulation disorders and how we can use mnemonics to help you learn and recall. So we would be grateful if you can like and subscribe to our channel so you can be kept up to date with all the new mnemonics that we release. Also, give a comment below if you have any medical topics that you would like to have mnemonics made for. There are three main categories that can lead to coagulation issues and these comprise of number one vessel wall disorder number two platelet dysfunction number three coagulation pathway disorders and we'll be looking into detail to in each one of these looking at a vessel wall disorder the prothrombin time which gives us the INR which is the international normalized ratio which is a measure of the extrinsic pathway, the activated partial thromboplastin time, which is the APTT, which is a measure of the intrinsic pathway, and platelet count are all usually normal in vessel wall disorders. Vessel wall disorders rarely cause any serious bleeding and may present as bleeding into the mucous membranes or the skin starts immediately bleeding following trauma, but usually stops after 24 to 48 hours and it's not very aggressive bleeding at all. So we'll be looking at the uh, conditions that can cause vessel wall disorders and we'll be using a mnemonic called vessel. So V equals vasculitis, E hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, so E is the second letter in hereditary, S equals scurvy, S equals steroids, E, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, L, long age, in brackets, senile purpura. The second category that we looked at was platelets. So if there's a issues with the way the platelets are working, that can also affect the way the blood coagulates. So deficiency of platelets is one of the most common causes of coagulation disorder and can be caused by many diseases and drugs. Thrombocytopenia exists when the platelet fall count falls below 140 times 10 to the power of 9 litres. It can present as petechiae and hemorrhages into the skin. Both the prothrombin time and the APTT are normal. So both the extrinsic and the intrinsic pathway times are normal. The bleeding time is usually abnormal and increased. So what mnemonic can we use to identify disorders that lead to platelet issues? Now, if we remember the mnemonic virals, so V equals to viral infections, V, vitamin B12, folate deficiencies, I, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, brackets ITP, R, transfusion, R is the second letter in transfusions, A, aspirin, A, aplastic anemia, A, antihistamines. So in this case, we can see that two causes are of acquired platelet disorders that can lead to platelets not working properly, and this is due to aspirin and antihistamines. Leukemia, splenomegaly. The third cause of coagulation disorders is due to disorders within the coagulation pathway, and these are divided into two, the intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway. So let's look at the mnemonic that identifies what conditions, what factors can lead to issues in coagulation pathway disorders. So we'll be using the mnemonic hemostasis quite conveniently. So H equals hemophilia, A, B, H equals heparin. These can all cause issues with the coagulation pathway. A, alcoholism, E, Extensive tissue damage can lead to DIC or disseminated intravascular coagulation. M. Metastatic cancers 
example liver metastases O von Willy Brandt's disease O is the second letter in von S systemic drugs example warfarin T equals trauma example surgery can cause DIC A abnormal liver function tests due to liver disease S equals serum prothrombin conversion accelerator SPCA deficiency factor 7 deficiency I inflammation an inadequate diet for example leading to vitamin K deficiency and S if there is a coagulation disorder always seek specialist advice so let's look at the coagulation pathway disorders and assess whether these are acquired or congenital from the previous list all are acquired conditions except for haemophilia A and B one Willy Brandt disease which is a factor one Willy Brandt factor deficiency factor 9 and factor 7 deficiencies as we said before that the coagulation pathways are composed of the extrinsic pathway and the intrinsic pathway what assesses the extrinsic pathway is something called the INR which is the international normalized ratio so in which situations is the INR prolonged we will use an acronym we lose volume of drugs so W equals warfarin warfarin increases the INR L liver disease that can lead to issues with coagulation due to liver disease V vitamin K deficiency D DIC disseminated intravascular coagulation all these four conditions can increase the INR how, what determines the intrinsic pathway? The activated partial thromboplastin time, APTT, is a test of the intrinsic pathway. So what causes the APTT to become prolonged? If we use the acronym Hungry Horses Dabbling Littering Lawns, so H equals haemophilia, H equals heparin, D equals DIC L equals liver disease L equals lupus erythematosus hope that the information has been useful to you if you have enjoyed and liked the contents of this channel then please subscribe and comment below if you require any other mnemonics that we can help you with thank you very much indeed and we'll see you soon 